Hello. Hello, everyone. Jesus loves you so much, and he loves to bring prophetic words to you, um, to show you what's coming, to prepare you, to fill you with faith. Mm -hmm. um, whenever he requires faith from you, you can rest assured that he's already given to you what you need. Amen. So just keep believing him. We have a prophetic word that goes with a word. It, well, it seems like a timeline, but it goes with a word that we gave on June 5. And actually, I don't know if we gave it on June 5, but that's the day we received it. So this word was received on June 17. And Kirk actually got it. But I'm going to read it. Um, I'm going to read it just the way he wrote it as he was receiving it from the Lord. And then he's going to explain a little bit more behind the scenes. He was telling me more about it. And I thought this, I could just tell this is how the Lord wanted it presented was I would read it and he would explain it. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. The word of the Lord from June 17, 2021, a stench, a rotten stench comes up from the earth, says the Lord of hosts. It stinks of rotten flesh, and the cries of my faithful ones constantly draw my attention to it. My anger is greatly aroused, and those whose intents and ways are always and only evil will reap what they have sown. I am the Lord. I will repay. Yes, those who thought they could keep secret and yes, they even thought I couldn't see what they were doing. The system, the world system, the system of darkness, the system of kill, steal, destroy. Yes, that system. My anger burns hot. Those who have ignited it shall feel what real power is. I shall bring upon them what they fear most. And those who have climbed the ladder of darkness shall find that they have climbed up into the deepest pit of hell. Fear not, my faithful ones. <laughs> Everything that the darkness has aimed at you, intending to destroy you, behold, I will turn it into a great blessing. The riches hidden in darkness, yes, everything that's been stolen and stored up, Great abundance and every good thing shall be doled out. I shall take great pleasure in your astonishment, my people. Even those of you who are aware of what's going on shall be aghast at the depth of the evil people that will be removed. And even more amazed at the riches hidden in darkness. You have no idea about the extent of your slavery and you have no idea what freedom really is, but you will. Again, do not be deceived and driven to fear. Do not fear. Hmm. And again, look up. Your deliverance is very near. Amen. Amen. Well, um, the things that really affected me with this word, um, when it started I I wasn't really listening um, I I was having some quiet time but I I don't know um, and I in my mind came the stench <laughs> the stench and and I, and I knew it was the Lord's voice and so I um, I thought I should go get my journal because you know when he wants to say things it's like um, Okay, now I, I better get ready to record something, or else I'll forget what I, what I, what he said. But that that was that was what came first. Um, he was he's, and and the also um, um, years ago, I maybe five years. Um, we, I was um, in a um, in our office, um, and all of a sudden the 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 anger of the lord was shown to me and not because he was angry at me or anything else but he just desired to show it to me and um there had been some people that had come against um our the ministry that we were doing and so on and we had been praying about that 
Although I'm not really even sure if, if, if that was exactly the reason for showing me. But um, at any rate, that anger came, I, I, I think I just got a passing glance of what it was like. And it was absolutely frightening. I mean, people are afraid of the devil. And I came away from that experience thinking, he's nothing. He is absolutely nothing. If God's anger is, is raised up against you, then you've got something to fear. It's, it's like the devil can be as mad as he wants. Who cares? It just doesn't matter. But God's anger is 10, 100,000 times. It, you know, there's no comparison between what our enemy can do and what God is capable of. And his, when his anger is aroused, um, you don't want to be in his sights um, and, and the target of his anger. And so this particular word then, um, I could see that he, he was, that anger was raised up. And I, as he was speaking the word to me, I could see, you know, I had prior, I'd questioned, well, why so many angels? Why, why is this such a, um, a, a huge thing? Mm -hmm. It's, it's because um, the Lord is so angry. Um, he's not going to miss anything on, on this deal. He, he's, it's not going to be, um, well, you know, we'll just, you know, make it a little better or something like that. It's, he's, his anger is aroused and um, and uh, it's 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 also I um, we were talking about this anger and I said you know um, he also says that the blessing that he will dole out to those who um, are his um, faithful ones is something that. Um, they will not be able to escape either. <laughs> um, so I, when we were talking, I said, you know, it just reminds me of a, a sword, like a double-edged sword. One side cuts, and it's his anger. And the, the absolute other side, the reverse side, cuts, and it's his blessing. You can't resist either one. Um, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The The... The uh, the anger is going to be um, quenched, and it's going to be doled out to those. And he says he's going to give them exactly what they fear most. And the reverse is that the blessings will flow, um, and it will. When this word too, he talks about the the treasures hidden in darkness. Well, sometimes. When he gives me a prophetic word, um, I can see things as the word comes. And so that's what happened. I, I could see, yeah, gold and silver and stuff like that. Uh, these people have hidden for themselves, but there's way more than that. There's way more that they've squirreled away um, for their own, um, for themselves. And I don't, I don't, I think it's all going to be opened up. I think it's all the the riches of darkness will be um, exposed. I think that's, you know, when we talked before about the uh, winds of change angel mm -hmm. and how he'll blow the lid off all the correction. Well, I think um, all these, um, all the stuff that's been squirreled away. I think um, what I was seeing, I, I believe there's food. I believe there's um, all, all manner of like, um, um, maybe like military stuff, like medical stuff, like I, just anything anybody could think of or want, these people have squirreled away. And I, I really believe that's going to be doled out to the faithful ones. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord's, mm -hmm. he's, he's just so angry and he's going to um, turn evil into good like he usually does. And that's going to be the result. Wow. So. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Wow.
So. Yeah, so it's really good news for the faithful of the Lord. And he wants you to keep remembering the message of do not fear. Do not fear fear. (laughs) So when you see these things happening, do not fear. When you're in Christ, the wrath of God has already Mm -hmm. rested on Christ on your behalf. So the wrath of God will never rest Mm -hmm. on you when you're in Christ. So do not fear. (laughs) Right. There's there's one other thing that we've discussed, and um, he may tell us what the great deception is or not. But he's told us it's coming, Mm -hmm. and it may take faith to see it. But the main thing to know about that is that we're not supposed to fear. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's good. He told us that it's coming. Right. And he's told us what else is coming. He's told us, he's telling us that he's turning evil into good, Mm -hmm. that he's going to take care of this uh, evil world system mm-hmm. and turn it for good for those right. who love him. Do we need to know more? I mean, yeah, it's nice to know how we get from here to there, <laughs> but we know, you know, we have a vision for the future. And, you know, the Bible says without a vision, the people perish. Well, we have that vision. Mm-hmm. And so I think it's, I think, uh, you know, just trusting in the Lord. God is good. Mm-hmm. He's good. Mm-hmm. What what else can you say? He's good, and he's, he's good. <laughs> has good plans for those who love him. Right. Yeah, and there's no condemnation. So that word about um, deception that we gave um, previous to the prophetic word previous to this one, um, that one, you if you were deceived and and you came into the light. <laughs> Don't don't be feel condemned about that. But the Lord is telling you there's another deception coming, and you just need to not fear. Keep your eyes on Him and your ears mm-hmm. open to Him. Yeah, yeah. And He want and two. I just want to um, let you know. So all these legions of angels that are coming to the earth, or some of them are already here, I believe. Um, the Lord was showing me the other night um, in a vision, so I was awake. Some of you want to know how those come. A lot of times I dream. I dream a lot. But um, this was, I was just awake, and I was just asking the Lord, show me something in heaven. Mm-hmm. And I could see my angel. Um, I know one of my angels. And so I could see him, and he was standing in like a, I, w- I would call it a, maybe a military room where you would make plans okay so there were all these angels there and he was very relaxed and he was just chatting it up with another angel who I don't know and um and I was like I couldn't hear what was going on I'm 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 working on practicing hearing better in the spirit but Hmm. anyway I couldn't hear what they were saying but they were talking and suddenly I I looked and I turned and the the room grew really really bright so I could hardly see And it was the Lord, Jesus. He had come into the room, the Lord of hosts. And he walked up to this big table where there was like a plan laid out on the table. Like maybe you would map, if you were going to attack another country or something, you would Mm. map out how you were going to do that and where you would put your troops Mm. and whatever. Mm, So he walked up to that table and he motioned for me to come over. So I walked over to him and then Michael the archangel Michael came and he stood on the other side of me and I was between them and I'm rather tall, but I was very small. (laughs) The Lord (laughs) was, was large on this side and Michael was large on this side. And I was like, wow, you know, (laughs) I didn't really understand what they were saying to each other, but I looked down at the, the map thing. And instead of like, you would have a drawing normally of, you know, X marks the spot here and then you'll move over here and whatever, there would be a line. It was alive. So I I could see like the battle that they were going to fight already happened. So when they say it's already done in heaven, bringing it to earth, it's, I don't fully understand right Mm -hmm. now what that means, but it was alive, like on the map and it was really cool. And I think, and it was like the Lord was just showing me, this is what's going on right now. We're, you know. Mm -hmm. we're doing it, we're fighting it, and look up, your redemption is near, just like this word says, your deliverance is very near, Mm. amen. (laughs) So be encouraged, God is uh, amazing, he's got Mm -hmm. it going on, and you don't have to fear, keep your eyes on him. Amen. Well, um, that's, I think, all I have you. All right, that's good. All right. Bless God. 
Bless God. Um, Jesus loves you. He does. And we appreciate you so much as well. Mm -hmm. um, thank you to those of you who pray for us and support us and, and love us. We love you as well. You're amazing. And again, the um, Destiny Road, the store that we um, have, uh, it'll be down in the description description box and also um, if you wish to donate that will be in the uh, address or um, email will be down there in the description box too mm -hmm. so yeah Jesus uh, loves you thank you mm -hmm.